and that's right we've got the brand new KTM free ride and uh, just took it out for the first trip this morning up in uh, Squamish British Columbia I've always wanted one of these bikes ever since I first saw them and uh, you know I'm gonna probably say a few bold statements but you know when I watch a lot of the racing um, what I see or people riding is most people are over bike and that by that I mean they're not really getting through something smoothly they're just blasting their way through it which is why they're dog paddling and trying to get up and part of that is because of the difficult nature of our trails here in British Columbia but also it's just that you got to start somewhere and and there's not a lot of easy trails out there well the KTM answers all those questions uh, I ride just so you know I ride uh, I, I call myself an intermediate rider I ride trials I ride a beta 200 and I ride a KTM XCW 200 and uh, this bike no doubt falls right in between that I was a little bit nervous that it would be weaker and it would be too trialsy, um, but but it's got all the right trials parts and it's got all the right moto parts. First and foremost, when you get on the bike and you ride it, it actually feels like a moto. Um, if you're a racer and hardcore and you like smash it into stuff, this is probably not the best bike for that. Um, just like a trials bike, if you ride like a moto, it is a little bit weaker and it's just not going to stand up to the abuse. This bike, everything's a little bit smaller, smaller front end, smaller suspension, but it actually fits the bike perfectly. So the motor and the transmission is very similar to like a trials bike. It, it uh, you can just cruise along in the toughest stuff and pick your way up. And then it, because of that, you can get up these rock faces and gnarly root sessions that, you know, you'd just be dog paddling and digging down to, to China uh, on, a, on a normal dirt bike. And this bike just flows at it, just like a, a trials bike. Um, having said that, I think a lot of people worry that because it's a detuned 250 that it's not going to be powerful enough. When you open this up in second or third or fourth gear, it, you know it's a 250. Now it's not as peaky as a two, 250 XC or 300 XC, that's for sure. But really a lot of that power isn't needed. I've ridden both those bikes and uh, you know I rarely see guys pinning it through the bush in fourth gear pin through tight stuff. Maybe on the open stuff but not in the gnarly. And that's what makes this bike so special is it just is such a it's it's like so fun to ride you're you're looking at stuff thinking i can't make it up that because you're on a moto and you just sort of your trials sort of thing falls into play and you go yeah go right up that route and go right over those rocks and and the bike just gives you that perfect power to do do that so i'm in i'm in love with this bike um i'm i, I live in squamish like i said i don't know if i'll i won't sell my trials bike and i won't sell my moto um, but this is right in between for riding Squamish and the really gnarly, rooty, wet stuff. This bike is what I'm going to ride all the time. And when I ride up in the interior at Onion Lake, where you see us a lot this year camping in Bear Creek, I'll be uh, I'll be riding that uh, 200 XCW. And then um, and then you know, so you, you kind of need three bikes. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, my wife Kim also took it out today for the first time, and she loves it. I think this is actually going to replace her 200 XCW. Um, and and she's already just riding like some really cool stuff that she would have had a hard time on her first day back riding on her on her 200. So give it a look, see, and uh, you can follow us a little bit more throughout the season. We'll be riding this free ride even more.